Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to another math video with Mr. Dudley. Today we're going to be looking at how you express percentages with fractions as decimals. Let's start off with something fun. What did the ancient Egyptians use to make brown paint? There's your imponderable of the day and we'll be back to it. But first, officially our target today is 4.7b. I can write percentages with fractions as decimals. Let's do this thing. All right, last year, everyone in my family was very healthy. I was at school 98.5% of the time. Here's a percentage with a fraction tacked onto it. Not 98%, not 99%, but 98 and one half percent of the time. Express this percentage with a fraction as a decimal. Well, as you probably saw, there's your 98% and one half as a decimal is 0.5, right? You just tack that extra digit on right here. You don't put the, you don't put in a decimal, 0.5 with two decimals. You just take whatever this number here is, this fraction as a decimal, and you add it to the end of your percentages. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step procedure on how to do that, but first, you must know words. What is a percentage with a fraction? Well, that's exactly what it is. It's a percentage with a fraction. That's brilliant. Take a look. 77 and one third percent. And that's the way you say it. 77 and one third percent. Check these out. Here's 99 and one tenth of a percent. Well, one tenth is 0.1, right? So you just tack that one on. Remember, you drop the other decimal point. So here's 99 percent, and there's the extra tenth. One. 0.991, or 99 and one tenth percent. All right, here's 99 and one-fifth percent. One-fifth is 0 0.2, 0 0.992. Here's the 99 percent converted to a decimal is 0 0.99, tack on the two. Same thing here, a quarter is 0 0.25, right? Well, here's your 99 percent, convert that to a decimal, 0 0.99, tack on the two five. I think we can handle this. Here's a step-by-step -step approach to it. Four easy steps. Number one, just like before. Remove the percentage sign. So here's my example, 72 and 3 quarters percent. All right, just step I want, step one, remove the percentage sign. So I got 72, 3 quarters. Step number two, move the decimal two spots to the left. Put that there. Now I have 0.72 and 3 fourths. Convert that fraction, which is 3 fourths, to a decimal, which is 0.75. And then just tack it on. Here's my 0.72 from right up here, tack the 75 on right at the end, 0.7275. And just like that, it's in the hole. All right, here's a little bit of a challenging problem because it's a single digit percentage. So it's 8 and 1 eighth percent. So dump the percentage sign, so you got 8 and an eighth. Move the decimal, two spots to the left, 1, 2. Now I've got 0 0.08 and 1 eighth. Convert 1 eighth, which we learned in class, equals 0.125, and then just tack that on. So here's the 0 0.08. Don't forget to put that zero there, because remember, we've the two spots. We have to have that zero there, that placeholder. So now I have 0 0.08125. You just tack that right on. Remember, only one decimal point, and it goes right here. This one here, we just chop and tack those digits on. Okay, here's a second challenging problem before I have you try some on your own. This one here has a zero here, 80 and 2 fifths percent. So let's just run the steps. First of all, get rid of the percentage sign. Now we've got 80 and 2 fifths. Second, move the decimal, two spots to the left, one, two. Now we have 0 0.80 and we have 2 fifths. All right, step number three, convert that fraction to a decimal. Well, 2 fifths is 0.4. And now, step four, add it on. Here's my 0 0.80, just add on the four. This zero you can't drop, otherwise it would be 84%. But that's not what it is, it's 80.4 was our original percent, remember? 80.2, or 80 and two fifths. So, 0 0.804 would be your decimal. All right, I think you're ready to try three, here we go. You try these three converting these percentages with fractions to decimals. Go ahead and pause it. 
I see dead people. I haven't said that in a couple videos. I'm just going to point that out. All right. Here we go. Let's see how you did. Uh, take a look at them one at a time. Well, 33 and two-thirds percent. Get rid of the percent sign. Add the decimal. I guess I added the decimal there, too. And then convert the fraction to a decimal, which is 6666 is two-thirds, right? So you could express it this way, or 0.336 repeating. Um, let's take a look at the last two. 62 and a half becomes 0.62. We've still got the half. That's worth 0.5, right? So 0.625, just tack that half right here. 7 and 3 eighths. 0, 7, I put it right here. We moved that decimal spot a couple of times. You got 0 0.07375. Here's my 3 eighths tacked right onto the end. It's like putting two decimals together with one decimal point. All right, time for the ticket to the show. Right here. 22 and a quarter percent, 72 and four tenths percent. Express these percentages with fractions as decimals. You ready for the uh, trivia question? All right, here we go. The question was, what did the ancient Egyptians use to make brown paint? The answer? Ground up mummies. Yeah, ground up mummies. Can you imagine this conversation? Oh, what a lovely shade of brown you have on your walls. What do you call it? I call it Uncle Fred. Hope you enjoyed my humor. Enjoy. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.